Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Another freezing cold day, but I like it. You gotta embrace it. I'm out to do my morning checks. Woo! And it is cold. I never throw, I haven't broken out the winter coat yet. I know I need to, but once you do that, I feel like there's no turning back. And it is way too early for winter. Horses are looking great. They're down there eating the grass. I can see that they're running out of hay here. So Sam's gonna put another bale in there today. But they are all on the chunky side. So look at ladies looking at me. I don't know if you guys can see. She's actually staring at me. You can spot that white, that white nose. That is one thing I love about her. She's always raring to go. So I got this comment today. I'm not usually into like super negative comments, but I wanted to share it with you guys so I could explain because this might actually help some of you guys. So I got this comment and Hopefully the lady was being genuine and honestly was just curious because she doesn't know a a, any other way. Anyways, what I wanted to say is that when we post videos and people make mean negative responses to it, my kids know that when people are unkind online or even in real life, that it's a true reflection of that person's heart and that person's personality and their and their progress in this journey so far their spiritual progress it's a reflection of their spiritual progress and lots of people honestly don't know better than to be unkind although i think we can all agree that that being unkind bullying and saying unkind things is never acceptable like if you go to school if you go to work if you go anywhere it's all like there, it's not allowed like that it's wrong it's not good like there's never a reason to be unkind and there's never a reason to bully someone but on social media there's not really any consequences and especially kids will be like that and my kids also know that people leave hate comments for so many different reasons sometimes it's because they're jealous sometimes it's because they haven't because they're judging someone else's life based on their own experiences which is really common like there are so many reasons that people are hateful and leave mean comments and my kids know that it's okay like when a stranger that's never met you that you don't know anything about leaves an unkind comment they know that it's a reflection of them they know it has nothing to do with with my with them <laughs> my kids know that that's what social media is about like social media that's just what it's about that's what people do because there are no consequences people feel protected and hidden behind their screen and so my kids understand that and I think a lot of kids understand that and my kids just don't care they just don't care about the opinions and I don't think even a lot of the opinions online that people say that are unkind I don't even think they believe them totally themselves I think sometimes leaving unkind comments is about people trying to fit in a space, trying to like, trying to make friends with other people, trying to say things that they think other people want them to say so that they can gain popularity. There's so many reasons people leave unkind comments on social media and lots of times it's not that the comments are unkind, it's people writing their own narratives for other people. Like people post things about us and about our animals and they've written their whole entire own narrative so it's really hard to be offended by that really hard to be upset by that like we're living our own true lives and and my kids are happy and they love their life like Sophie is loving her journey with lady I want to ask this do you think come below yes or no you just have to say yes or no do you think that you should never post something online share something with a group or put something out publicly that you love or that you um, are enjoying or that you want to share with people if you think because somebody else might not like it for whatever their own reasons are i'm wondering are there people out there actually that feel like you should hide everything about yourself so that nobody can not like you like 
for us. There are gonna be lots of people who don't, don't like us. And the truth is, there are lots of people that we don't like. We firmly believe that you should build your circle of friends and family with people that build you up and and cheer you on and not bring you down. And those are the kind of people that my kids befriend, hang out with, and want to be around. So while there are people out there in the world that don't like us for their own reasons, and that's okay, my kids probably wouldn't like them anyways because they're not into people <laughs> leaving comments. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I wish I could speak better. I wish I could say it in a way that people understand better. But the reason that we continue to post videos is because it's something that we like. Sophie loves sharing her journey. She loves sharing her life with Lady. And we're not gonna stop that because someone out there doesn't like Sophie, doesn't like how she looks, doesn't like her body shape, doesn't like her horse, or is jealous that she has a horse, or is jealous of whatever. Like, we're not gonna stop being who we are so that other people don't get upset. That just seems silly to me. So anyway, comment below if you think that you should never share anything for fear that someone might not like it. I, I don't want my kids to be afraid of social media. I don't want them to be afraid of other people. I want them to and, learn and grow. And this social media has been the best learning experience. Like before we started, we had no idea like how to handle all that stuff but now we are so good at it like Sophie couldn't care less in fact the other day she was reading somebody else's comment on their video and um, because as you guys know hate is universal if there's any video out there that has a lot of views it's got a lot of hate on it so Sophie saw this video um, yesterday and she was reading the comments and she said like oh my gosh why are these people taking out their unhappiness in their life on the people that posted this video like the video was fine it was a completely normal video but there was a few people posting unkind hateful things that were ridiculous and she was like wow that person really hates their life like when you are in the spotlight you put yourself out there you learn really fast that people just say whatever they want and that it doesn't mean anything it doesn't like it doesn't mean anything unless you let it mean something and my kids are really good at just blocking out stuff that doesn't make any difference to their life she's happy she's well adjusted she's outgoing and she's friendly she loves everything that she's got going on and she's not gonna let people that don't even know her stop her from living like her best life oh I guess that is my answer but I'm curious what you guys really think about the hate online. One time I saw this video, someone sent it to me. It was um, somewhere, I don't even know where it was, but it was somewhere online. Somebody was bashing us and said like, they have a duck and a goose in this little tiny pool. You know the pool that we had for our duck and our goose? Isn't that awful? And this girl was going crazy over it and she was saying, this is abuse, this is borderline abuse. And then somebody looked at this girl's page scrolled down and the girl had four ducks and she had the exact same pool and she had four ducks in it and that's what social media is a lot like it's hard to be offended when people are just like trying to get along way in the world and that's what a lot of that hate is they're trying to find their place they're trying to fit in somewhere and sometimes being negative is easier to slide into those places and fit into those areas than it is to be positive and happy and and fit into those kind of areas. I've been shopping all week for Sophie's birthday. This is one of her hoodies that she wears. I always wash them and hang them up so that they dry. Some fuzz went through the wash though. I washed a tablecloth and it had fuzz on it. Anyways, so you guys know Sophie only wears this brand and each sweater is $90, which is fine but she only has a couple of them so I bought her another one for her birthday and it just came today it's a different color so this is an Aritzia sweater this is what she wears Aritzia I don't know if you guys know it but it's her favorite brand she loves it I also ordered her a few books that she's really into I don't know what else I need to get her like I told her on Saturday we'll go shopping we'll like spend the day shopping at the mall and she can pick out some things that she wants but you guys know I bought Lady and that's gonna be a surprise for her I just don't feel like it's gonna be a big surprise because like we already have her she already loves her she already knows she's not going anywhere like the formality of saying yeah like we bought her it's gonna kind of be like not that big of a of a surprise I feel like but I definitely do want to get her something to like 
to make it kind of special if you guys know what I mean I think I'm gonna get like her I think I'm gonna get her a uh, leather bridle with her name on it but I'm not sure I have to figure it out because I have to drive far to get that but anyway I'm excited for her birthday and I hope my 10 minute long response to that question really answered it for whoever posted that that question hello fancy meeting you here I swear this horse though she lets us know when she needs to be busy <laughs> She's like busy. I oh yeah. Jumps. You set up jumps. You should be wearing her boots. What boots? Those? Yeah. Why do you think I put them on? I mean, every time she jumps at the at the horse barn well, at the school. You change your opinion on them. <laughs> I know. Time. I'm the worst mom. I'm like, I get stressed over everything. I'm like, oh don't, well, I wouldn't don't see. look at that. Look at. Did you guys see it for a second there? She had bangs. Wow! I know. It's grown in. It like grew like an inch and a half. It looks like. Wait, it's maybe only an inch and a half, but it grew like a half an inch in the last three weeks. It feels like. Field down there. Yeah. I want to set up jumps and ride down there because it's like at the bottom of the hill. It's like a big flat surface. Yeah, we hate riding on the hill. It's good for her, but jumping on a hill is hard. We can do whatever you want, sister. Oh, look at that big beautiful butt even though she has a big butt she doesn't have a quarter horse butt i feel so bad for you guys it's gonna get warm again like in a week so then i'm going to and some ham we had thanksgiving <laughs> and you're having thanksgiving dinner instead of being thanksgiving dinner <laughs> it's yum anyway i have like a bunch of leftovers I'm gonna throw in there some potatoes and ham and some corn. You want some over there, little duck? I knew I was gonna get dirty, so I brought out a bunch of claws. So my hands are clean and I got mitts to put on. I'm set, three hoodies on. I'm ready, you guys. Someone messaged me and suggested that I get a Carhartt coat because they uh, don't rip. I have been thinking about it. Like last year I was thinking about it. I used to hate the look of them. But the more I'm a farmer, the more I'm like, hey, maybe it would be better for me. So I think I'm gonna put it on my Christmas list this year. I want a Carhartt coat, a heavy duty warm one so that I can be warm. But oh, I feel good. Like it's like nine Celsius right now maybe eight Celsius, like like eight degrees above freezing. And I just feel comfortable in the stuff in, with these little gloves on and three coats, three jackets, I feel good. Lady's not standing for Sophie to get on and it's because there's no other horses out here. It's what she does whenever there's no other horses. If, there's, if we're like at the barn and there's a whole bunch of horses, she's excellent. So I said to Sophie, do you want help? You guys might remember the old Sophie wanted help all the time. Good girl. Good girl. And now she's like, no, she can just stand. And I'm like, good for her. So she made her move her feet every time she walked away. Yeah. Every time she walked away from the stool, I made her move she her feet. made her move her feet. And then poof, didn't take very long. Lady takes everything three times. Everything. Sophie, let's try it. Let's do that. Let's try the other field next time. Okay. I don't like riding on hills either, to be honest. I don't like riding on hills either because it's probably good for Sophie. It pushes you back when you're going uphill and it pushes you forward when you're going downhill. When you're like trotting along, like, I don't know, it help her build muscle too though. Every year they have an award ceremony for the year before. So last year was Gabby's first year of the school. And How's that gonna work when they graduate? And so this year's award ceremony is for last year, which is Gabby's first year at the school and she made the honor roll. So she, they are gonna give her an award because she made the honor roll. But that's like, so the reason I tell you guys is because there are so many people out there in the world that think that homeschool doesn't work and that homeschool is bad. And she was homeschooled 90% of her whole entire life. And she went to school last year for the first time ever and made the honor roll. Not only does, homeschool work, but it has so many other benefits besides academic. Like, 
I was saying before how my kids can easily recognize now when somebody is unkind to them that it's a them problem not a us problem like not a, it's a it's the person who's hating and being mean or bullying it's their problem and that was my whole idea about homeschool I wanted to see what would happen if my kids grew up in an environment where they were only loved and only cared for instead of like having kids uh, around them that might not be so kind all the time lady's having a little bit of a temper tantrum out there she normally is good but Sophie's fine with it it's so fun to watch you work through things with her so lady has been getting down at the end there and then she at down at that shelter and then she thinks she's going home so she's been kind of racing trying to race and Sophie's been working through it working through it working through it let's see if she does it again I think she just had a lot of energy to be honest because she hasn't I know she's beautiful now and then Sophie was so happy for her that she stopped trying to like run home she patted her and said good girl tell her again see how she's looking at the at the barn she's like where are all my friends um honey has passed that stage now where she kind of nobody comes to watch anymore they'd rather eat to keep themselves warm I'm proud of her though like years ago a couple of years ago she would have been nervous there we go oh tell her good girl I did. good girl Sophie is excited to jump wow she doesn't want to jump down the hill and I don't blame her Brendan told her to jump up and down the hills. <laughs> or to chicken. What a good girl. Good girl. Beautiful. She just said she needed looser reins so she's not holding her face. Wow! That was, was so, I love her jump. It's so, yeah, you, you do get left behind because if you give her her face, she actually jumps it and you're still getting used to that. Yeah. Holy moly. I like it though. I'd rather have her like be powerful and strong than like be worrying about her and jumping. I think she's going to be able to jump. That was beautiful. Even though it's hard to gather myself after the hill. Yeah, I know, and it's hard. I saw somebody said that she's really struggling I'm out really here. Struggling. Yeah, it's because when the horse is going uphill and downhill, they look a little different. Good, can it? Yeah, we can. Woohoo! Loved that. So Brandon told her at the lesson, last lesson, if she wanted to canter after a jump, to let her canter. I love, I can hear like Sophie talks to her, like Brandon talks to her. That's fine. That's okay. Whenever there's like a mistake. Yeah, so at this jump here, Sophie could tell that she wanted to canter it. And so she just said, okay, you go. And she let her canter it and it was beautiful. I know Brandon would tell. <laughs> You bet, Sylvia, you have to let her. Look at her, she's heaving. Good girl. Let it, I think just call it quits. Okay. I know you want to. On Sophie's birthday, where Sophie has plans for her birthday for her and her horse. So we're going to do something with her friends a little later. Because. You you your yeah, you're a true equestrian when. Oh, so she already told us all we're going into the lesson barn and she's going to practice she all the things she. Jumps better than she trots oh, of course she does. Good girl. That was stunning. That horse is giving Sophie her all. That horse, that horse. She is such a good horse for her. Well, look who came. <laughs> she heard the jumping and she's like, I'm coming, Sophie. <laughs> oh gosh, she's cute. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't like Sophie riding lady. We're cooling out. That was amazing. So what I love about this horse, when we were looking for a horse, I told Brandon, I told everybody, 
all we want, like we're not picky, has to be a bigger horse, like a draft crossed, and it has to be a willing. The horse has, we wanted a boy. That's the only personality requirement that I, that I wanted. I had like, we've had so many horses and personality is everything. So I said like, she just has to be willing. And I swear that horse, she tells us when she needs to exercise. She stands in that field. As soon as we're outside, she glares at us and just stares right in our eyes to be like, I need to, I need to be ridden. Like she is, wants to go. She wants to do thing, things. And I just think about like how she was a carriage horse for 13 years and how like, well, I don't know, 10 years probably because she was a baby before that. But yeah, like she lived such a whole different life before. And Sophie's like, I really want to jump. And she said, okay, let's learn it. Like, I love her. Like I, I love her. I love that horse. I love your horse, Sophie. I love all three of my horses. I love all three of your horses too. Oh, honey, look so cute there. I know. The two Palominos are there together in the other field and they just look so cute. But it's exciting. Jumping is exciting. So anyways, Brennan told her um, at the last lesson, like if she wants to, to canter it after the jump or even before the jump, go ahead and just let her do it. And so that's what she did at the lesson barn. And she like cantered a couple of steps after a couple of the jumps, but she didn't really seem like she wanted to do it. But uh, she was, Sophie was going over that one blue jump and I could see it and Sophie could see it. She was like, hey, I want to canter this. And Sophie said, oh, you want to canter it? And she put her hands forward and the horse just cantered and went over it and oh, trotting jumps is definitely not as pretty as cantering jumps, but I'm proud of them. I'm proud of Sophie. Like, I see a lot of comments that are negative, but the truth is, our truth is that Sophie is not a nervous rider anymore. She's in love with this whole journey. She's brave. She's strong. She knows she can handle Lady. And Lady, like Sophie takes her feet out of the stirrups and instantly Lady slows down so much and is so careful because she's afraid Sophie, she's, she feels Sophie's unsteady and balanced. She stopped and turned and looked both sides. Yeah, she stops and she'll like look both at both sides to make sure that Sophie's okay. Like she is so caring. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking now. Hopefully you guys see it. This horse is freaking amazing. Listen, your next show, you might be able to canter all the jumps. Uh, all right, yeah. There go all the geese. <laughs> Gabby's wearing Sophie's coat and Gabby said, hey, Sophie said, hey, that's my coat. And she said, yeah, I know. I just throw on random coats. <laughs> oh, look, it's kind of clean in here. Oh, yeah. I cleaned it oh, yesterday. Sure door, what is it? Well, one, her oh, green. Yeah. Oh, she's looking for her carrots. Do we have? Know, she's like my do we have carrots? I know Dad bought a bag of carrots. Where are they? Oh, yeah, the Don't you know that you're beautiful?